All right, Pisces. Let's do another read for you guys. Pisces placements. This is going to be for mid-October. Into the smoke we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So let's see. Let's pull three cards from the Wisdom Oracle deck, I believe it is. All right, three cards. <clears throat> three cards for Pisces, please. Mid-October. Three cards for Pisces, mid-October, please. What information do you want to give to Pisces for mid-October 2022? Three cards, single jumping cards only, Spirit. You already know how I roll. So we have serendipity, not for you. <laughs> okay. Something is for you and something is not for you. All right, and clean it up. Mm. 21, and by the book. Mm. It's clean up time. Okay, so... This could be spring cleaning. To me, this is kind of like my addictions card. 21, the world. Something here needs to end. Something needs to be cleaned up, tidied up, um, closed out. Loose ends may need to be tied up. Something here is not for you. It's like you may feel like something is just out of reach from getting what you want. But there's a there's a window in the background and it's wide open and it's leading you to serendipity, something that is for you. Okay, so let's see. Why is clean it up here for Pisces mid-October? Six of Pentacles reverse and Nine of Pentacles. So this could be someone who's been breadcrumbing you or someone who's not giving to you equally. Something here needs to end. Death card on the bottom of the deck. Knight of Pentacles, there is going to be a new offer that comes in. Or maybe you've been planning something for a very long time. There's no equal give and take here, though. Someone's not giving equally to a situation. Someone may be breadcrumbing you financially with time, energy, resources. It's cleanup time, Pisces. 21, something needs to end. Again, with the death card, change, transformation. Change is always for the better, right? Sometimes we don't see it like that at the time, but the end result is serendipity, okay? Y'all may be doing something by the book as well. This may, this to me always gives me like, um, doesn't have to be legal. Buns, get out of there. Show me clean it up. Pisces. I feel like there's something here that maybe you've been planning or strategizing for some time. Working on. Tell me more about this clean it up for Pisces mid-October. Eight of Swords. Yeah, something here is making you feel stuck. Sorry for the glare, guys. These cards are naturally shiny like this, so I'm sorry. Anyways, Eight of Swords. <laughs> whatever uh something here is making you feel stuck trapped bound you may be in your thoughts as well about this or not really knowing like what to do in a situation knight of cups in the reverse yeah I feel like you're either not romantically invested into a situation or um, there could even be some jealousy around you. Tell me more about this clean it up. I feel like someone's insincere, insincerity, is that how you say that, insincerity? Maybe making you feel some type of way. Uh, Six of Swords reversed. Someone, something that you left behind as well. Or something that you moved away from, maybe coming back around. But it's not sincere. Not a Cups in the reverse. 
there could even be some jealousy or just like some false falseness when it comes to how someone expresses themselves or expresses their emotions if this is in regards to love or something may be coming back but i feel like you may be rejecting this offer of love Someone's coming back to offer you their cup of love. You may need to get more information about this. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. Death card in the reverse. Yeah, because some something here, someone here hasn't changed. Scorpio energy. Somebody's backtracking, but it's like they refuse to change. This person is still insincere. Un insincere this person is up in their head this person may be also strategizing how to come in and offer something but with the six of pentacles in the reverse this is either someone who breadcrumbed you or was giving to two or someone who hasn't been fair or giving equally to a situation i feel like you're cleaning house <laughs> Closing cycles here. Show me not for you. What is not for Pisces? The sun in the reverse. Yeah, something here doesn't make you happy. There's no growth. There's no expansion. Leo energy. We have Scorpio out here as well. Something here is not for you. Something does not make you happy. Something is not rainbows and butterflies. Something here has also been kept hidden. Or some, you know... Something here is not being, yeah, ooh, karma. Karma and the Queen of Cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone here I feel like is releasing karma or releasing, I don't know, releasing something to the moon. Like how these people are standing in the moonlight. Damn, look at that Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, I like these cards. Show me what is not for Pisces. What is not for you out here for Spirit? Single cards. What is not for Pisces, please? Mid-October. You, you may also be worried about something coming back around or someone from your past, Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, wanting to put in the work. Not for you. Five of Swords, the Strength card. We got double Leo energy here. I feel like you're holding back from a situation because someone here is like, plays mind games. This person may even gossip or talk about you. This this may be stemming from, from their own place of like depression. The Sun card in the reverse, it's the happiest card in the deck in the upright. However, in the reverse, this is someone who may suffer from depression or some type of like mental illness five of swords like this person something here is not for you you need to find the strength and the courage to hold back from a situation this could definitely be a leo four of swords I feel like you, someone here may have like put a bunch of swords in you. Okay. But this woman is like standing there with like this, um, kind of like a, how would you say that? Like a, like a upset, but like she has three swords up against the wall and one in her hand. It's like someone took the swords out of their heart, out of the heartbreak here. 
Four of Swords typically talks about healing, resting, going within, meditating, taking a break in order to rejuvenate. This is like someone who, who has these, took the swords out of their heart. This is someone who's healing, but they still have a sword in their hand. It's like, don't fuck with me. The look on this woman's face is like, there could still be some anger here or some defensiveness or like, um, it's almost like, side, I don't want to say side eye in someone, but it's like, you still feel or see like, you took the swords out of your heart, right? Three swords typically is three swords through the heart. But this woman is kind of like, has one sword in her hand and the way she's gripping it is like, like, you know, I'm healing. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Push me to the edge. <laughs> okay, anyways. I feel like someone here may also be trying to hold back their um, their pain while trying to heal. If someone was talking or gossiping about you, spreading lies, rumors, just being a fucking shithead. You may even have children with this person with the sun card in the reverse or someone here is like... I feel like you're looking at someone like like you know something, but you're not saying it. This four sword, she she's like, it's like she's still holding on to pain. Like you know something, but you're not speaking on it. You're just trying to heal from it. I hope I'm making sense. <clears throat> Show me this not for you. Give me one more. Knight of Wands, the High Priest, Ace of Cups, and Page of Swords again. It's like, yeah, someone here is... You need to get more information. High Priest is here. I feel like you know. You know someone may come rushing in passionately. This person may be younger or a little bit immature in how they communicate. They may com Their love language may be through passion as well. This may be someone who's very passionate. Again, I feel like you're being very silent, the high priest. I feel like you internally know something here is like not for you. Something doesn't make you happy. It doesn't bring you joy. You know there's no growth here. You're finding the inner courage to, and strength here to hold back in a situation. You may even feel defeated, but you're trying to heal. It's like, how's that song go? Um... Tides were black, the lies were white. Um, he took the crown, but it's all right. Oh shit, now I'm gonna wanna hear that song. And all the liars are calling me one. Nobody's heard from me for months. I'm doing better than I ever was. I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyways. Full distraction mode. Okay, let's get back into this. Not for you. Show me what is not for Pisces. Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Justice. Okay. So, I feel like you're going to get justice for this situation. You know that this isn't for you. You know that something here is going to be balanced out karmically. Libra energy is here. There's something here. Someone created a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. Someone may be worried about this as well. The illusions that were cast because there's like a wizard here with all these cups and he's like pointing his finger. It's like someone may have been casting illusions. I'll redo it. <laughs> someone may even... Someone may even have been saying that you were depressed or you have anxiety or like, I don't know. 
it's and some of them may have been like talking about this amongst their friends and shit behind your back to a swords three cups show me serendipity show me what is for pisces the queen of wands aries leo sag and the ten of pentacles okay Tell me more about serendipity, please. I don't know what that rabbit's doing. There's no telling at this point. Two of Pentacles. you're very attractive you get a lot of attention someone here may also like sunflowers i've seen that a couple times um the queen of wands though she's very fiery confident attractive she goes she's a creator someone here is creating the ten of pentacles somebody may be going back and forth or juggling two different things or some of them may even be working in two different jobs, but they're doing it very confidently. And the lovers, woo, woo, okay. Serendipity, the lovers. Interesting. So this lover's card is a little different. There's like, oh fuck, I wish it wasn't so glary. It's like a woman, an angel up here with the moon in the background guiding these two lovers this is and lovers can talk about choices but if you see it's like a man and a woman holding hand in hand you know and they're being divinely guided by you know so this is like a soulmate connection but with the two of pentacles this could definitely talk about you know someone here may have been weighing their options going back and forth between two people possibly i feel like you've created your own you know, Ten of Pentacles, your own destiny, your own legacy for yourself. You may be going back and forth on whether or not you actually want, like, some type of a partnership. Gemini may be significant. One more. Nine of Wands. The Chariot and the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're going to be making a head over heart decision to move forward here. This is kind of like standing your ground. This is typically like the wounded warrior, but she is definitely not wounded. She is like ready for battle and doing so. Like you got you got some fight in you. It's like I feel like you're gonna stand up and fight for what it is that you want. And you're gonna do so with, you know. <laughs> a lot of stamina, man or woman. I feel like you're making a head over heart decision to cut something out, cut something off so you can move forward. Again, I think you're creating like your own family, your own destiny, your own legacy. You're very intelligent as well. You could be a public speaker. You may travel as well. Or you may travel and do some type of, you know, public speaking or something. You may be a little bit tired, but I still feel like like you've got stamina. This Queen of Wands, or this Nine of Wands, excuse me, is not like the typical Nine of Wands, like feeling defeated, like you've been through battle. This woman is like perfectly put together. Her complexion is great. She's like ready to fight. Like you're ready to fight for something. Maybe fight for a soulmate connection. Or maybe someone else is ready to fight for a soulmate connection. Maybe someone sees you as someone who's very creative. You may also be someone's good luck charm, or that's the way someone looks at you. I feel like you're getting your justice here for whatever was pained, whatever bullshit that was talked about you. This could have made you feel depressed, but I feel like you found the courage and the strength to hold back in a situation. But I feel, I also feel like this, the way that this Four of Swords is. You may have also felt very alone at one 
point in time, like, there could have been people that were talking about you and made you feel like you had to isolate or... Again, I found that with the strength card, four of swords, it's like you found the strength to heal on your own, possibly. And that's why justice is being served here. For whatever foul play that it was, something here was not for you. Something happened for you, serendipity. Something happened for you. And so you could have queen of wands, so you could like find your confidence create this ten of pentacles this legacy this family this is like something this is almost like a preparation <laughs> a divine intervention preparation i feel like someone was breadcrumbing you this may have been someone that you know came back from your past it is swords who left you feeling trapped in a mental prison this person may have claimed that they changed death card in the reverse knight of cups they may have offered you some type of false offer of love they may have even given you some type of like how do you say it? monetary value like some type of money or stability or said hey let's work on things let's plan for the future knight of pentacles like let's let's build something here but it was a fucking false offer this person never changed death in the reverse this person won't change they were breadcrumbing you they were giving to two This came back into your life so that you could clean up something like whatever this heartbreak and this pain and this shit is that you had to heal from. It happened for you to put you into this Ten of Pentacles, this lovers, this, you know, you may even have choices in love. But this is this. I feel like this like. um This help it helped you like learn how to balance different things and stand up for yourself. Like, this may have even been your karma, but when I see this karma card, it's not like bad karma. It's like, hallelujah, you know? It's like something that maybe once was negative and hurt and was fucked up actually was for the betterment of your growth. To help you clean up shit, to close out old cycles. Maybe there was something that wasn't quite closed out in your past. But this clean it up card, this 21, this world... Someone came in and rocked your boat, literally, put that shit, you started moving backwards, backtracking, found yourself stuck in a mental prison. You may have lost out on some type of finances or, um, you know, something that was owed to you. Somebody could have like offered you something and withdrew it from you. I see that somebody made some type of an offer here, but it was false. Knight of Cups in the reverse, it was false. You're going to get justice for this, or maybe you, you know, you realize that something is not for you. Maybe this is something you were wanting and wanting and wanting, and spirit was like, no, nah, motherfucker. Like, how you like that? And then you're like, oh shit, okay, that fucking hurt. That really sucked. Again, I feel like you felt alone, but you found the strength and the courage here. And I feel like the strength card next to the four swords, it's like, you found your inner strength, and you healed I do see you being a little bit defensive because of possible, like, and I'm just going to be honest, ready to cut a bitch vibes, okay? Because of some type of rumors and, you know, someone was literally five of swords in you, like, trying to put you into a mental depression by saying negative things about you, five of swords, by, by lying. But this... In the end, it ended up growing you. You found your inner strength. You learned how to balance multiple things. And I feel like you may have a soulmate lover coming in who could be sent from you, sent to you, excuse me, from the divine. Okay? It's like karma. This may have been you, like, serving out some type of karma as well, but the end result is for your betterment. You may be a creator if you are. It's going to be very lucrative. Okay. I feel like whatever betrayal this is, it had to happen. You could even be a single mom or a single dad. Because I'm seeing the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups underneath that. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.